experiment that we're about to do is um, it's a lot of fun. It can be done at home quite easily. Just a little cornstarch and water. Um, what it shows is a remarkable property of fluids, of certain types of fluids, especially fluids that have particles in them, to behave in a uh, fashion that uh, the viscosity seems to change as fa the faster we shear the fluid. What do I mean by shear fluid? Well, imagine that fluid, the stack of cards, is a layer of fluids. And that all layers are represented by the various cards. Shear force tries to move the top against the bottom. And so. so you see that you have movement, which depends on how much shear force is applied. Even more important, it's the speed in which we apply the shear force that really creates the higher stress within the layers. So the faster we go, sometimes, for certain fluids, the more shear or shear or movement of all the cards you get. Water is very non-viscous fluid. Uh, a lot of fluids are much more viscous, such as oils or other types of uh, fluids that have particles in them. The more a fluid gets viscous, the harder it is to shear. To a point where if you put the stack, the stack of cards on hand, the fluid of this, or this object becomes more like a salt. Because if I try to shear it now, I get very little movement. So a fluid behaves very much like a series that it has a series of layers that slide one on top of the other. And it is the interaction between these layers that creates the friction, and also the interaction between the walls of the pipe that creates friction. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want, want to show is that certain fluids have very unusual viscosity properties. Um, the uh, fluid that we're going to show is a combination of cornstarch and water, two-thirds uh, cornstarch, one-third water. And we're going to see that the more you try to shear, or the quicker you try to shear the fluid, the more it becomes viscous and actually uh, becomes almost rigid at one point. And it, the slower you shear, then the more movement you get between layers and it behaves more like a, an ordinary fluid. So let's move over to my lab, to my kitchen, and um, we'll uh, mix up a batch of cornstarch and you can see uh, what how this is going to behave. This experiment will show an unusual property of a uh, solution of cornstarch and water. And what we're going to see is the uh, how the viscosity varies uh, when we uh, shear the, uh, the fluid, or in this case, the viscosity water combination, and uh, watch how the viscosity becomes much heavier. In other words, the fluid appears to become much thicker and denser as we shear faster or slower. So I'm going to use about two-thirds cornstarch to one-third water. You don't have to be terribly precise, but really you'll see the results, you'll feel the results. Uh, as you uh, do this experiment yourself. So you want to avoid getting into the trap of adding too much water and then having to put in a lot of cornstarch and too much water. So uh, just be patient and uh, try to get a good blend of a basically a pretty heavy solution of cornstarch water. Uh, we will have it right here. Okay. Yeah. So, I don't know how well you can see this here, but uh, if I put, if I move my finger around into the solution, it's fairly liquid. I mean, it's thick, but you know, it's liquid. But if I try to move it quickly through, it tends to bunch up and become very, very thick and um, 
hot, much more viscous than it was just a moment ago. So the rate at which I shear it, shearing being crosswise like this, influences how it reacts. And uh, viscosity is, is uh, changing. So what you can do here is actually show your friends how liquid this is and rapidly throw it at them and see that actually nothing comes out of the bowl because the speed, the effect of the velocity, keeps it almost solid. I put a little bit of this into a shot glass. See an even more obvious effect. I can put my finger in very easily at slow speed. But if I try to get it in quickly, it won't. It acts almost like concrete. It's quite amazing. You should try this. It's great fun. I'm sure your kids will love it. And this is a interesting property of fluids that uh, uh, shows you that certain fluids behave very badly in presence of higher rates of shear. So this type of fluid, if you were to try to pump it with a centrifugal pump, centrifugal pumps turn at high speed, it would be trying to shear this liquid inside the body of the pump, and of course this would only want to tend to lump and uh, stay stuck to the sides. So to pump this, you need a very slow moving pump, uh, positive displacement pump, something that's acting very slowly and will not uh, create make this fluid uh, react in such a, uh, um, become very heavy and lumpy and so viscous that it can't be pumped anymore. So enjoy this experiment.